And another North Korean human rights issue that emerged at the UN Council focused on the conditions of North Koreans working abroad. The U.S. Special Rapporteur on North Korea vowed to look into what a Seoul-based human rights group called the slave-like conditions these people are put through. The group says the workers are forced to make foreign currency for the cash-strapped Kim Jong-un regime. Shin Sun-min has the details. The United Nations human rights investigator for North Korea said he will look into allegations that 20,000 North Koreans are working in slave-like conditions in countries like China, Russia and the Middle East. Marzuki Deruzman, the UN Special Rapporteur on North Korea, told Reuters the workers are, quote, bonded laborers or slave laborers who receive poor compensation for working long hours. NK Watch, a Seoul-based human rights group, says roughly 100,000 workers are sent overseas to 40 countries and make some 3 billion U.S. dollars in foreign currency every year for the Kim Jong-un regime. There was no reason given for the discrepancy in the estimated numbers of workers. The human rights group also called for an investigation into host countries' involvement in the program. This isn't the first time the practice has surfaced. Activists say North Korea has been using its manpower to make money for the Kim regime since the 1980s, with some of the money being spent on luxury goods. But the practice has been accelerating under the current leadership as the number of North Korean workers abroad is set to have increased by 35,000 since 2012, based on figures from the New York Times and NK Watch. Activists say the practice may have increased because of tighter international sanctions on the regime that have prompted it to seek new sources of revenue. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.